Let's first of all look at the SD card. This is your most important thing. This is the memory stick or the flash jump drives like a USB jump drive. This is the same kind of thing. And this stores all the video. So this is your big hard drive. Um, this will store about 16 hours of video on this card. So let's take it apart and we have two pieces in this card. And I'll just wait for everybody to have these uh, available. And okay, let's see the SD cards. This is the card. This is an S. We're going to have to have your attention. Tell me when you're all ready. Look up, please, and I'll know. Don't, don't try to assemble it. I'll show you how everything works. Yeah, well, I'll show you how everything works, and that's the purpose. I'll show you first, and then you do it, and then look up so I know you're finished, and I'll move on because we have a lot to do today. And the pop quiz, I want to cover everything before I give you that pop quiz. So, Okay, so this is the SD card adapter. Uh, usually, if you have a camera at home, this is the SD card with the memory. This it has no memory in it at all. This is an adapter for this small device. It's called a micro SD card. And so, this micro SD card has contacts, copper contacts on the back of it. If you can see that. If you'll take that copper contact and place it down on the face of this adapter, and slide it in. There's a little slot. It will push in and lock into place. So you see the label on both will be up. Contact will be in towards the card. So there's contacts on this card, as you see here, and contacts on the micro. And you'll slide the contacts with the face up. The label is face up. You'll slide it in and it'll lock in place. If you slide it in backwards, it could damage the card. So don't force it in. It should slide in and click very smoothly. And now that is your adapter. Very easy, however, to lose this. So be careful. That is the memory card. That's all your videos on there. There's no need to ever take it out again. But be aware that it is in there and lock. Because if you put it in your purse or something like that, it could snap and come out. But once it's in, there's never a reason to take it out again. This is the SD card now. So this is the contact, copper contacts. And this is the face with the labels. We'll show you how that works in just a second. Everyone have that now? Go ahead and put them in. And just look up when you're finished with everything. OK, easily. Now let's take the camera on another hand. And on the camera, if you open this up, you'll see a door here that flips open and closed. That's your SD card reader of the camera. And you flip that back and forth and you'll flip it open now and you'll take the SD card with the label, you can see the label, and the contacts facing into the camera. The contacts will go into the camera. The label will face the LCD screen. So once you have this, you can slide this in. It, it's sort of at an angle. It doesn't go straight in at an angle. And then push it until it clicks. If it doesn't go in smoothly, it's incorrect. You have it upside down. So the label facing the screen, contacts go into the camera. OK, so if you push it, it'll, it's spring-loaded. If you push it again, it, it'll come right out. Push it in, it's like a spring. Push it in, it snaps into place. And I'll have everyone walk around, everyone? Yeah. Got it? Okay, yeah. real easy. If you put this in backwards, it will damage the card very easily. Uh, it don't force it. It goes in very smoothly. You don't have to uh, jam it at all. It will go in. If it doesn't go in smoothly, you're, it's incorrect. Okay, once that's done, close the door of the reader. You will get an error. It'll, uh, if you try to record in that mode, it will give you an error. 
and tell you the, the door is not closed. So close the door, and now you're really ready to record if the battery's charged, that is. The batteries are all charged on here. Now we're going to go to the battery. On the back, this side here is what mounts to the tripod. There's a little spring-loaded clip here that takes the battery out. You slide it down, and the battery comes out. And there's a battery charger in your kit. I'm going to let you figure that one out. Just put this in your battery charge. The first charge that you use this should be overnight. So you have a good quality charge for your recording. I already did. Okay. They are recharged now, but if you're not going to if record for the next two or three weeks, they could uh, run down. So uh, I would say uh, put the charge back on them. Be safe because once you go into the recording, this is your, your grade, so I would not be, be prepared. So to put it back in, go ahead, try that again. Put it back in, hold the switch down. Okay, don't, these things are made very easy to, to, to clip in and out. So learn, learn the camera the most. Now we're gonna go into a little harder spot, configuring these cameras. I want all of you to, to go through this and put the dates in and the times and I'll give you some other things but here's how we'll do that let's turn the power on if we go and look at the face of the the camera there's a power button just click it on hold it in just for a second or two and it'll chime you'll hear a chime and then you'll see something on the screen and it says probably the lens covers closed does it say that on my, most of them now there's a lens cover on the side that flips open and closed. It'll be on your opposite side of the LCD. I close that so you don't damage the lens when you're finished with it. Uh, you'll see it'll give you that warning it's closed so open it and you'll be able to see the images in there. Now it's ready to record at this point but we're going to set up the camera's time and date. If you'll look at the LCD screen now with the camera lens open, there's a home button at the very top left. Click that. This is very important now to, to see what I'm point, going to point to right now. It should be in the auto mode. Do you see that? When you're looking, go, put, click the home. Okay, you're on setup totally. Mine's already set up, I guess. Let me find someone who is not set up. Let me, let me borrow yours. You can see, you're not going to see uh, this until. Let's click the English. Uh, these cameras have never been set up. And then on top right, there is a next button. It looks like a play button of a VCR. And now you're going to put the date in month, day, year, I would suggest. Touch that. And go next and then you should come to the screen which says January Feb, January and then you can go the up and down arrow key until you get to August you can do that on there and then you can tab over to the next screen and put your date is August uh, what 20th today Anyone needs help? Melissa will help you. Let's see if you can get through the time and date on your own. Okay, it's the gear icon click on the gear you might have to double click or hold it in for a second when, when you click the home screen you can navigate to the gear the little gear at the icon so that's the gear screen and you can move this way or this way and then when you click that we're here
Do you see that? Yeah. With the tool okay. Tool just side. see if everyone is there. We're just on the tool screen. Is that where you want to hit the tool screen? Yep. The tool screen. Click. Uh, hold it in, and it will go to another menu. And you'll see at the very bottom of the tool screen, it says movie format, says MP4, video quality. There's the setting that we must change. Touch it and select four megabits per second. Four, the last one. Okay, your camera is now set up and ready to go. If it's not at four, here's what's going to happen. Four is a what's called standard definition. It's the old VCR format or DVDs that you used to have. Uh, the other ones are high definition. It will fill the memory card up within a half an hour, an hour. And so you don't want to use that. It's too high a quality. It will take too much to transfer to the laptops. It will use up a lot of your time. Standard definition is fine for the pilot project that we're doing now. So uh, it will be unbelievable quality at the other levels, like high def, but uh, that will be too much for uh, playing and working with the files now. So you're all set with this camera. To start the recording now, really very easy. With the lens open, of course, it, it won't let you start it without that. There's a button on the back, a silver button. You push that in once, it will beep. You'll see in your LCD finder a red light that comes on, just like a regular VCR or your iPhones. And uh, when you want, want to pause, you just click it again, it will pause. In the fact, it stops the recording, and so that's the end of that clip. If you want to start the recording again, just push it again. It will continue where, where it left off. Start, stop, just like taking a picture. But it will roll, and be sure, very uh, important here, this, this, can I have your attention on this one? If you don't, I would try it right now. If you don't see the red light, you're not getting a recording. So be sure you're getting a recording and do a test. One, two, three, four, five. In the views finder, everybody recording something now? You'll see an audio level check. You'll see your voice as you talk and hear me. You'll see a, a line moving. No, let's see. Testing, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, no, you won't see that unless you have an external mic like I have. With a built-in mic, you won't see it. With a mic, a wire like this, you will. Okay, let's uh, turn them off and close the door, and that shuts everything off. Close the lens cover. And it's now ready to put back in your box. Uh, you since there's, there's actually 20 of you all, and, and, and I just counted, so 20 of you will actually get a camera um, at first. So leave your SD card in there. Um, no, never mind. Sorry. What? Take them out and just keep them in your possession, your SD card, in that little case. They're yours for the semester. So it's just like if you had confidential counseling notes, you would lock them in your file cabinet and lock them in your office. This is your this is your video, so keep that just as close to your possession as possible, because that is a violation of HIPAA if you lose that, just as it would be your case notes or your video tapes that you bring into supervision. So just be careful with that. And then you can put the camera back into the bubble wrap and place it back in there, and then there's the user. Yeah, let me point out one more thing on the SD card as you put, put before you put it away. On the side of the card, on the side of a card is a little white button, very tiny button, plastic button. You'll see it says lock, in very small print. It says lock at the very top. And if you push that down, you will lock this SD card, and it will not record. Now, if you accidentally click it down, when you begin to record, it will say it can't record. And so if it can't record, that went into lock mode. So make sure it's up. It should be up towards the contacts. Up. And you can see it says lock is down. Okay. You can see that it says lock is down. Okay, now you can put the card away. That is. And you can put your cameras away. Here's a camera I borrowed from someone. And. Oh, that's the, that's the model.
And I have somebody's SD card. That's that. We're going to have to talk about your process here that I realized was happening, which is they they trade their laptops in each time. Yeah. We, need we need to, to talk like about that. Yeah, that was question list well, today. yeah, we need to talk about that. Uh, if they're never going to store anything on land, oh, we'll talk about that later. Okay, next. Yeah. Okay. Real quick. Okay. Next. Very quickly, the, this this is real elementary, but it's better not to have this. It's going to be very quick. This is the tripod. You probably all have used the tripod of some sort, but I'm going to assume you didn't. This is not a very rugged tripod, so it really can be broken very very easily. These pull out to extend. And they push in like that. They're uh, spring controlled, so you push in and out. But the most important thing, there's a little handle on the top. If you turn it in, screw in or out, turn left clockwise or counterclockwise, it will loosen your ability you so that you can move the camera up and down. That's called a tilt control on a camera. And that's so you, if you have to adjust it a little bit, you can. And then if you, you're going to lock it there, just turn it clockwise. It locks it so the camera doesn't move up or down on you as you're recording. Then there's a little knob on the left, or right here, that has a, a knob. If you turn that not t totally tight, it'll allow you to move the camera. And we call that a pan, left or right. So you can adjust left or right. And with this knob up or down until everything looks great, then you can lock them both down if you're not going to move it so that it doesn't move. Now they're locked. So when you get the tripod, they may be all locked, so you, you can use these adjustments. Now getting the camera on is with this knob in the bottom. There's a hole or there's a screw mount on the bottom of the camera, so you can screw that in and uh, the camera sits on top 